25th April 2014, Friday, Friday. Um, 10.30 a.m. at Topayo Vets. Okay, this dog does not come in for the ear surgery, although he has, he has an ear problem, that's why I can see the pigmentation, but it's not a big problem for this dog because his ears is not flopped over, but you can see that there are some signs of scratching, it's all black. And, top, and you look at this side, he has a as he has problems also, you can see all black due to scratching. But there's no complaint from you, right? No. The owner is happy with it, so, so it doesn't... Uh, we clean it uh, quite occasionally, uh, actually. Uh, uh, so, so this is this what happens in, in uh, dogs which uh, have chronic arthritis external. Uh, uh, in this type of dogs, an operation of the retro ear canal, like just on what I showed in the Kaiser King Charles, open up this side wall by surgery, and they will solve all this problem of scratching. But uh, of course, uh, much depends on owner for this surgery. Collateral ear canal protection, and you won't have all this black uh, scratching. But anyway, his problem is not this. His problem is for this old dog, 11 years old, right? Oh, seven. Seven years old. For, for him, it's actually, we call it a perineal hernia. Now, this is a left perineal hernia, uh, which is there's a defect in the muscle, the pelvic. I firm the coil and so all the intestines and sometimes the bladder comes out. There are two. So the left side is not so obvious. You can see a small one. The right side is, is uh, the opening, the defect in the muscle is very big. Probably three, in, three inches or, or ten centimeters. That's why a lot of uh, intestine. You can see that. You can see the outline of the intestine actually. It's a large intestine. The sheet is probably inside there. And the dog will have difficulty in shipping at this area. And on this side, just starting on it, so the, the hole is very small. And uh, this one about probably one centimeter. So this one can be quick, quickly stitched up. Now this one, this one the dog pees on it. Pee no problem. Pee, right? pee no problem, yeah. So this shows that the, the bladder hasn't come out here. In some dogs, the bladder comes up here and, and the whole uh, area is swollen because the bladder is there, full of urine. So the dog is difficulty urination, pee. But in this case, it's lucky the dog doesn't now to prove that it's a perineal hernia. Now I can push it back and you can see that the, the whole thing is disappeared. Eh? You see there's no more swelling. Now this will confirm it's a hernia rather than a tumor. Tumor, tumor of course you won't go back in words. Yeah? Is it nothing? Really? It is nothing. So this is this is a so to show that it's a hernia rather than, than a tumor. If it's a tumor, of course, it's, it's a bad news for the dog because tumor means a big uh, uh, swelling. Now, this definitely is a hernia. It's nothing new, but it doesn't stay long. It looks perfect now. Mm -hmm. But after a while, the dog want to the shit, the whole thing come on again. So after this, we operate, goes up to defect by three or four layers of stitches. And in most cases, the dog will live a normal life. So the dog is here for surgery. Now, it, uh, I would advise all dog owners of male dogs. Normally, if you neuter the male dog when he's young, uh, chances of him developing the perineal hernia is, are much less. Not say that I can guarantee that it isn't any, but they're much less. It happens less in neutered male dogs. As to what reason it is, it's probably the male hormones weakening the pelvic diaphragm there, but uh, nobody knows exactly. We just know that sterilized male dogs have less chances, and female dogs do get perineal hernia, but also very uh, uncommon, but it do happen normally after five years of age. Okay, now we are we'll going for uh, surgery today. My doctor Daniel. Okay, thanks.